I'm Sabria. I'm Simon. I'm Micaiah. I'm Augustus. I'm a Wubakuru. I'm Jason. And I'm Amber, and we are Bartram High School. We chose Jane Golding's challenge to we chose Jane Golding's challenge to use art as a way to bring awareness to our community about the school to prison pipeline and promote restorative justice over incarceration. Initial surveys in our community reflected a desire for there to be an emphasis on motivating students educationally and also creating a safe and thriving community. Additionally, this challenge resonated with us as members of a high school known for its notorious and dangerous climate. In fact, just last year, Bartram had 71 violent and nonviolent incidences within our school. We recognize how much the culture and atmosphere and policies of our school and community may be contributing to our students' behavior and wonder if we could use this as a way to spark community pride, increase engagement, and have more positive interactions with the youth of our, the youth of our community. In this vein, we created Give Us Our Crowns. This is a movement about restoring how people see children that are most affected by the school to prison pipeline and bring awareness to the systems and forces that help contribute to these distorted perceptions. Our slogan is coordination over incarceration. Give Us Our Crowns believes that if people see children that are educated in a restorative and enlightened environment, they will seek out more, um, they will seek out more solutions, solutions to keep them out of jail instead of putting them in. How do we start? We wanted to do an art form that was restorative and gratifying to those who helped create it, but beautiful and symbolic to those who view it. We decided upon a thousand crane project. We borrowed this from Japanese folklore that says, folding a thousand cranes grants one wish, in our case, a wish to eradicate the school to prison pipeline. We decided our approach to bring awareness should be to fall. So we decided to create a website and a social media page, and we use origami display on in local businesses to advertise our campaign. Our website not only provided with facts and statistics, but also provided with behavioral intervention for teachers instead of making disciplinary fault to principal or school police. Our goal was to get 500 people to view our website and at least 50 people a day contribute their thoughts on our social media page. Secondly, we brought origami displays to the community and school partners to drive traffic to our website. Each partner was educated on school to prison pipeline and asked to identify one way they could help children stigmatize within the system. Their displacement and their, their displays were earned in local businesses. Thank you. We partnered with Bodrum High School to identify teachers and students in need of rapid building to host restorative craft session in which students and teachers using instruction from our website created origami cranes. Their cranes were displayed in Bodrum High School and throughout the community. Cranes making was used to help them gain a better understanding of each other in an effort to reframe their perceptions. We partnered with Patterson Elementary School, Myers Recreation Center, and added to make cranes with students, parents, and community members. They too were toured by the school depression pipeline. We even partnered with the Art and Theater's production of 5 to 10 to display our cranes and hold talkbacks with the audience about the school depression pipeline. We educated our school police as well as our local district police officers about the pipeline. Our school police were asked to help create cranes with students and to make a commitment in helping stigmatize children, much the same way as our community partners were. Pre and post surveys of teachers and students who participated in our cream making showed that 100% of teachers and 93% of students felt that it was helpful in changing their perspective of students or of themselves. At the time of this presentation, we have had over 500 people visit our website and despite our Instagram page being hacked, are averaging daily likes on our social media page. We created over 1,000 cranes and put up 40 displays in schools and throughout the Southwest community. The conversation is happening and change is on the horizon. So let us recap. In response to using art to bring awareness to the school to prison pipeline, we created Omikami crane displays that were used as both advertisement for our website and social media that use both restorative intervention to help and to educate students. We partnered with Bartram High School teachers, Myers Recreation Center, the Attic, Patterson Elementary School, the Art and Theater, the 12th District Police Department, Bartram School Police, and 30 businesses create art that was informative and restorative. Overall, we were able to make, to make um, overall we were able to spread the world over to 1,500 community members and counties. What's next? We would like to create an after school art mentoring program with neighborhood, middle, and elementary schools. In addition to us working with them in the Bartram to establish a Give Us Our Crown scholarship to be awarded to a senior who was or is a part of the criminal justice system. We would like to keep this origami project going for kids who struggle behaviorally. The school to prison pipeline does not only affect Bartram. That's why we ask that you coordinate over incarcerate. That's why we ask that you give, give us our crowns.
Great job. Give us our crowns. Judges, you got it. When you were talking about, well, first off, great job. Thank you for doing this. Um, when you were talking about partnering with other community organizations and schools, can you talk about what, what did that entail? So partnering with other community organizations basically entailed us probably organizing a day that they were open to us coming into their organization and us working with them to make cranes, us talking about the school to prison pipeline to help raise awareness, seeing if they could also, for anybody that came into their organizations, bring awareness to them as well. Um, as we said before, we did display cranes with our information so they could visit our website and Instagram page if they wanted to. Well, I want to first, first say great job, and we never want to see you in orange, ever. Mm -hmm. Just for these kind of presentations. Um, you know, what, what, was the, what made you sort of pick this idea what, what was, as, as a group? Um, well, we go to John Bartram High School, and that doesn't, our school doesn't have a good rep for um, behavior issues. And we know that there are a lot of kids in the Southwest community that um, aren't graduating high school, and are doing a lot of things to get them in trouble. So instead of um, to continue that, to continue that um, run, we wanted to stop it and nip it in the bud right where we at. We decided to talk to um, Bartram and Tilden, the Connect School, so we can nip it in the bud for 12th graders, 11th graders, and also middle schoolers and elementary classes. How, how did the um, other, like, being familiar with the, the, that community, um, how was it received by students across the school uh, when you started your campaign and started doing this work? Um, so basically, within our school, our community school, and then other schools as well, because we did work with middle and elementary schools, it was actually received greatly. They understood what was going on. They already knew that some of them were probably already in the system, probably got out of the system, and they wanted to make a change as well. That's why a lot of our classes, our classmates, classes, teachers, staff members were actually very involved in what we were doing. No more questions. Thank you so much, Bartram. Good job.